Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial for you. Well, it's not really a tutorial, but it's more of a render speed test. I took the time to render 32 videos and rendered them on two different machines that I have, and I got a bunch of different results, and we're gonna go through that together to show you how fast processor rendering is, how fast graphics card rendering is, and the whole shebang. So if you wanna see some cool results, let's get to it. Alright, to start things off, I recorded this footage, two different types of footage, one on my DSLR in 4K, 23.9 frames a second at 100 megabits per second bitrate. And then I recorded 1080p footage on Stream Elements OBS, and I recorded that in 60 frames per second, and it's at about 30 megabits per second bitrate. So there are two different types of files, two different resolutions, two different frame rates, and rendering those on my two different computers provided different results. The first computer I'm going to render it on is my main machine, which is a Ryzen 1800X processor. It has 32 gigs of RAM and a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte graphics card. The other computer I have is a laptop, so it has integrated graphics. It is an Intel i7 8th gen. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM and it has an AMD Radeon Pro WX3100 graphics card inside of it. It's a professional grade graphics card, so it's actually meant to do rendering and stuff like that. Now my hardware may not be the same as yours, so in the bottom I put a link to a hardware comparing website. So you just put in my processor, and then you put in your processor, and you'll see a percentage difference in a lot of stats. So let's just say if you have an i9, you can go ahead and compare it to my Risen, and then if it says your i9 is 20% better than my Risen, look at these results and just say they're going to be 20% better, most likely. That's going to give you a good rough average of render times for you. And same thing with graphics cards. That website can do both graphics cards and processors. I created two presets and one utilizes the main concept ABC encoder, which is primarily your processor. And the other one utilizes the GPU of each machine primarily. So I rendered each clip twice, but on one of them I didn't have any effects on, and the other one I added five effects. I added brightness and contrast, I added color correction, I added secondary color correction, I added Gaussian blur, and I added a LUT. Now it's not meant to look good, it's meant to be a heavy load, because when people are editing rendering, usually they have effects on there, so I wanted a more realistic test, one without effects and one with effects to show you the different times. I created some really cool graphs inside Vegas Effects, which is part of the Vegas Post package. So if you want to learn more about any of the stuff I'm talking about, it's all going to be in the description below. So here's the first chart. You can pause this whenever you want, but this chart's going to show you the time it took to render the 4K video with no effects on. On the left, we're going to see the different categories. At the bottom, you'll see the color-coded computers, the first one being the Risen with the GTX, and the Intel with the Radeon is the other one. They're red and blue, so you can clearly see the difference. So here are the results. The first one was 24 frames per second using just the processor, and it looks like the Risen beat the Intel by about twice as much. The second one was 24 frames per second using the graphics card to render. The third one was 60 frames per second using just the processors. And the fourth one was 60 frames per second using just the graphics cards. You see the Risen with the GTX beat the Intel one uh, in every one of these categories. But when we rendered with the graphics cards, they were actually really, really close. So let's take a look at the next chart. This is how long it took to render the 4K video with the five effects on. So to render it in 24 frames per second using just the processor, it took a lot longer, you could tell, for each one of them. But the Intel took almost 15 minutes. When I rendered in 24 frames per second using just the GPU, it still was relatively quick for both of them. When I rendered in 60 frames per second with just the processor, you could see it almost doubled for the Intel one, and it did double for the Risen one. That one minute video took 27 and a half minutes to render. That is a long time on the processor. And the fourth one was 60 frames per second using just the graphics card and it didn't take too long. It took about five times as long as the clip itself. And under the third chart, the time it took to render the 1080p videos with no effects. When I rendered in 24 frames per second using just the processors, you could see that the Risen was about twice as fast as the Intel. When I rendered in 24 frames per second using the graphics cards, surprisingly the AMD graphics card beat the GTX by a few seconds. When I rendered in 60 frames per second using just the processors, the Intel took a couple minutes longer than the Risen. And then when I rendered in 60 frames per second using the graphics card, it was a very close call at only a 20 second difference. And under the fourth chart, the time it took to render the 1080p videos with the five effects on. 
For 24 frames per second using just the processors, you could see the Intel took a little bit longer than the Risen. For 24 frames per second using the graphics cards, the AMD Radeon took just a little bit longer than GTX. For 60 frames per second using the processors, you could see the Intel took over twice as long than the Risen. And for 60 frames per second using the graphics cards, they were pretty close, call it 2 and 3 minutes. So if you want to see all that again, go back in the video and pause it and take a look. And I recommend using the link below so you can compare your graphics card and your processor to mine so you can see how close your rendering times would be compared to mine as well. I hope this video shed some light on you, and if you're wondering about rendering speeds, there you go. This is the most honest test I can do to show you guys because I know it's a really sought after thing. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you liked it, maybe shoot a like down there because that'll really help me out. And maybe if you wanted to subscribe, I got plenty of other Vegas Pro and Vegas FX videos on my channel, Scrapyard Films. So thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video. And I'd like to give a special shout out to my super patrons, HPL Gamers and LMC.